When you dream big, you have to start somewhere. For Chris and Samba, the founder of the African Space Research Program, that entails using his back garden to construct Uganda's first jet aircraft, ahead of the planned launch of a satellite into space. Okay, we are supposed to at least have a probe in the lower orbit of the Earth, at least in the next four to five years. There is still a long way to go. The engine for this prototype is yet to be built. Chris and his team are just putting the finishing touches to a shell. And they will have to build a much more robust machine from scratch in order to realize his dreams. But his volunteers appear willing to put their lives in his hands. As we take this project up, I expect to be one of the participating flying pilots for this project. So far the program has received a modest $80,000 or so in private donations. But its prospects have been boosted by an official pledge of support from Uganda's government, which is donating an undisclosed sum. president has talked to them on phone and uh, based on my report he has uh, agreed to give them some support. Reaction to the government's backing for the space program from citizens on the streets of the capital, Kampala, has been largely positive. Right now we have the priorities to be invested in money like construction of roads, construction of hospitals, even the healthcare is in a very bad state. It's really a good idea, but it needs some time to invest money. Space research to me I think is very important, it's very paramount, because first of all it will educate our people. But Chris's ambitions haven't always been viewed favorably. And he admits that even now, people sometimes think he's mad. When we are done with our work, when we are done with our project, it does the talking on our behalf. So that's not really an issue of being called crazy. The development of a thick skin leaves Chris confident that he can deal with the many ups and downs that will surely confront him in the years ahead.